so I wanted to welcome you to another installment of Inking with Fountain Pens. Today we're going to be using this modified Jinhao X750 to ink this fawn girl here. As you can see, this has been modified with a Tachikawa G nib. And since it was a test modification, I didn't really use <laughs> the best nib I could have. I should have used one of the titanium or one of the gold ones, but I used what I had. So this pen is a little bit tricky, so you're gonna wanna have some scrap paper handy. And you may also find that you need to dip it in water regularly to get it working. And we are inking today on Maruman watercolor paper. Which means I will be watercoloring this in the near future. And my pen has been filled with platinum carbon black ink. It is a pigment based fountain pen ink. Now this ink, this pen puts down a lot of ink so it can be quick to kind of oversaturate the paper and because the nib is sharp it will actually kind of tear at the paper which is why I am inking on a heavier paper. So you want to give areas enough time to dry before you go back over and refine them or work on them.
in these sort of applications where the GNIB really seems to excel is that you can get a finer line with the GNIB mod than you could with, say, a Noodler's Flex. Even the small Noodler's Flex, the Creeper's Flex, you still get a wider line weight. So if you're looking for sort of delicate applications, the GNIB mod might be the way to go, although it is, I warn you, a little bit finicky. Mine might even be a little more finicky than your average GNIB mod, as it is one that I set myself. So it might be, you know, not the most optimal heat set. But it's a fairly easy, inexpensive thing you can do at home. You will need boiling water, and I recommend some pliers. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. I have a video here on the channel where I modify a G, uh, Jin Hao. X750 to take a Browse Rose nib. And while that wasn't really a successful application, it's not from the heat setting itself, but rather from the rose nib just letting in way too much oxygen and the ink causing corrosion in, con in conjunction with too much oxygen being let in. And Gina Mod is also particularly good if you are going out and sketching because you can get some really expressive lines that you wouldn't otherwise necessarily be able to get from a fountain pen. But again, due to its sometimes temperamental nature, it would not necessarily be a pen I recommend for people who are impatient or um, or often on the move. So if you are sketching a moving subject, given how often the GNIB starts and stops, it may not be the best choice for your art. And I have tried um, dye-based fountain pen inks, and I find that they work at first, and then quickly die out in my nib. See, it's running a lot better now that my hand has warmed up the barrel, and the ink has become a little more fluid. So if you're someone with hot hands, this can be both a blessing and a curse, as uh, sometimes it will put out a lot too much ink. And if black ink isn't your thing, you can try filling this with one of the many pigment, color pigment inks on the market. All right, sorry about that. It cut out while I was finishing up the, or working on the hair. Um, I think it cut me while I was talking about pigment inks. If black ink isn't your thing, there are a number of brilliantly colored inks in the Sailor Storia line that I can recommend. And if you're interested in such recommendations, I do recommend, again, that you check out my fountain pen uh, playlist here on this channel. And these are reviews specifically geared towards artists. And as 
the barrel of the pen, which is a metal barrel pen. I have a converter in it. Can't ink drop convert a metal barrel pen. It'll cause corrosion. But as the barrel of the pen heats up, you notice you may notice I am not having as many troubles with my inks. It's because the ink has begun to expand a little bit and flow a little more freely. In some pens, that's an issue, but in the Jin Hao, it is very much needed. Definitely need that increase in ink flow. All right, so this is just about finished. I will see you guys again. Is, well, for me, it's going to be about 24 hours. For you, it's going to be, um, who knows how long, probably my next update when I'm going to go ahead and watercolor over this to demonstrate how well pigment inks take watercolor. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this little inking with a modified Jinhao inking with a fountain pen tutorial to be helpful, to be useful. If you did enjoy it, please remember to leave a like and uh, consider leaving a comment, especially if you have any questions. I'm just going in and adding some shadow to her eyes. But I'm gonna handle most of that in watercolor as I am also going to handle the fawn freckles. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to help you out. And if there is a particular inexpensive pen that you would like to see me do an inking demonstration with, you can let me know that as well. And if I have it, I'll go ahead and do a demonstration. Or if I can borrow one or get a hold of one without breaking, breaking the bank. I will try to make that happen. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you again really soon. Bye!